Hello powerful galactic beings, welcome back to another video. A popular false light tactic is to make you feel like you are a mere human being, with no mission that is more important than anything else in the 3D world. The matrix tactic against humanity is to make each and every one of us to feel worthless and of no value. Many people leave life thinking that they have fulfilled everything life has to offer by doing everything the matrix orders everyone to do. And many other people in the spiritual community jump into their mission with things like, healing and channeling, without doing the inner work first, because a guide of light came to them with a message. If you take a moment and think about it, you will understand the system of the matrix and its mind programming pattern is deeper than we can perceive it. Its purpose is not only to make us lack the true knowledge of ourself, but also, to control each and every one of us mentally, spiritually, physically, psychologically, and otherwise. Until we realize that we are being controlled since thousands of years by malvolent species from other dimension, we won't be able to break away from this matrix. Until we realize our true potentials and capabilities, as multidimensional beings, we will be forever controlled by other species, some which most people call the reptilians. Powerful galactic beings, we are the ultimate creators of our reality, and when we are still operating and creating from lower vibrations everything gets distorted. That is the nature of the reality of the matrix, everything is backwards and upside down. The goal of this distortion is to keep you in a lower frequency, so that you do not change your reality to a better one, which would help change the reality for the collective unconscious and the earth experience. Most of the awakened being's true mission today is to be balanced and fully present in a human body. It transmutes the darkness within and without, and is the main focus of our reincarnation into this dimension. Relationships, not just intimate ones, can help us see the dark as well as the light within ourselves, and can help us love ourselves. When another loves us, it makes us feel worthy of our own love. Loving yourself first is the highest path, and many people simply came here to master love. The distorted version of this is narcissism based on service to self. Only when we find the love and true light within ourselves, by facing our shadow and going within, could we ever begin to be capable or experienced enough to help others do the same. We all play a special role in this cosmic play, at least those of us that are not non-player characters or soulless beings, who have come to distract many people from their spiritual awakening. Even the Star Seed mission has areas of it, that have been hijacked by the dark entities. Dark projects such as Project Looking Glass were able to look into the future to infiltrate every single aspect of what we are here to do. You are an interdimensional being, and of course, you reincarnated here in order to help humanity awaken. You came here to raise the vibration of Mother Earth and accelerate the ascension process. I mean you, you are special and you have a special purpose during this timeline. Go within and figure out what your purpose is. You are a galactic being, don't see yourself as a weak human, never do that because when you think in such mindset, you literally insult yourself. You are special and repeat that to yourself in front of the mirror every day. Realize you are a star seeds made of star dust, and you are here to help, but one must help themselves first, or they are just exacerbating the problem. One of the false light mission tricks was to try to take you to the inner earth or off planet Mars, and even to create another earthly dimension to move you to, that was just a pocket reality still hooked up to the matrix. Other false mission examples are to create communities or to create gatherings with like-minded people, because you are to be their leader and teacher. Many times the end goal of the dark is to use you to open stargates in order to try to get out of here, without doing the work necessary to graduate. They might tell you to go to certain sacred sites and groups and may even lead the ceremonies through you. Although there are legitimate needs and yearnings to create groups and to be with like-minded people, the false agendas are those who use people as chosen ones and gurus, in order to gather more people to feed energy from. Don't worry, the stargates that need to remain closed will remain closed due to fail-safe codes that can only be opened with the correct protocol within you. Remember, you are awakened star seeds and light workers. And the number one way you can help others is to first work on yourself. We are all connected as a collective, and as one shifts it affects everyone and everything on Earth. What happens on Earth affects the whole universe. The self-work involves returning your own matrix from a distorted reality to an organic creation. The real mission for every source being here is to become the example. Unplug from the matrix fear programs, do your shadow work, and open your heart. Revoke contracts and dissolve false beliefs and programming. Love yourself and be responsible for your thoughts, actions, and words. Learn how to trust your intuition and listen to what your body needs, and let that guide you above anyone else. 
When you really figure out the nature of this reality, then you may share what you have learned to those who are inquiring. Be mindful of where you place your focus and intentions for creation. If you don't do anything else, at least get your vibration up enough to bypass the false light tunnel if you were to pass out of your physical body. Only by doing this work, will you will remember who you truly are and you will begin to vibrate at a resonance, where you can access higher self-wisdom. You do not need a spirit being to tell you who you are, or what your mission is. You don't even need this channel to know who you truly are, because all is within you, and that is the purpose of this teaching. The help we are getting from our higher being, and source is in the form of waves of light of a balanced higher resonance vibration and supreme love of the cosmos. It is steadily increasing everyone's vibration, but at the same time is causing chaos as the false matrix collapses. It can sometimes feel like a roller coaster ride as we are acclimated with huge bursts of energy and then periods of rest. From a higher perspective outside of time, it may look like one large wave of energy of the sun is being sent to Mother Earth at a very high amount. I feel like that at this point, collectively those who have awakened, and are real, are already vibrating at a resonance above the technology, and would not have a problem with the false light tunnel. The technology used by the greys, or the reptilians, is at a lower 4D vibrational frequency. It simply would not be able to magnetize a 5D frequency being. When you vibrate higher, the fear of dying begins to fall away as we realize we never die, but just change vibration within the same location, until we able to move out of this location. There is nothing to fear at death, don't even fear whether you will remember to focus your attention on going home. As much as we would like to go home, we are needed here to be fully present, multidimensional beings grounded in a physical body and ascending into the etheric dimension. We are here on a mission, but the mission is to transform our reality here into 5D, and vibrate higher by overriding the false matrix code. And this is done with self-healing. How many beings of light have given you that message? I imagine not many. We will get to go home one day, but for right now the job now is to be boots on the ground. Many people would rather look at anything pretty and shiny rather than looking at themselves. Many people out there will continue to get worse, until people understand that the collective is unconsciously creating the outside world through distortions. We create this distortion because we are plugged to the matrix in one way or the other. As awful as it looks, it truly can be cleaned up when people start working together to support each other with healing themselves. We are here to heal each other. This is assisted with the truth about what is really happening in the matrix. Although this truth cannot be forced upon another, eventually as someone's life gets too distorted and challenging, they have no other choice but to stop and look at why it is happening. One powerfully informed being that unplugs from the matrix brings us one step closer to dissolving the distortion, and moving the collective towards the original real human experience. Galactic beings, try to show respect for those who do not seem to be awake, for there may be many reasons why their soul did not choose to awaken. Or even the reason their soul is not ready for the final incarnation and ascension path at this time. Everyone is experiencing this shift in consciousness differently. Move towards being with like-minded individuals that are balanced in support for each other. Do what you can for those that are lacking energy, but do not allow them to steal yours. Let go of the past and focus on what you want right now for our future. Do your higher consciousness and self-work, and then return to your 3D life, knowing that you are the witness for things that you do not want in your future. We are currently straddling two worlds, one of control and domination and the other of imagination and creativity. Our reality continues to gradually shift, but one day it will be obvious that there has been a splitting of worlds. In order to exit, we have to leave the 3D and 4D frequency, and move to 5D and above where everything is openly seen for what it is. The bigger picture shows us that when we hurt someone else, we are hurting ourselves because we are all connected and we come from the same source. If people only realized this, we could change our reality overnight. Remember, anything is possible and question everything. Question everything, and every now and then, try to envision what the reality will look like if this matrix wasn't created at the first place. Look deep within and you will realize a lot about the truth of this matrix. It is only through this realization we will be able to see through the veil and the illusion. As the veil is being lifted, the matrix is falling apart, and it is becoming more recognizable to even those that are deeply asleep, that there is something not quite right about this reality we call life. This reflects that the vibration and energy of the third dimensional environment that we inhabit, is slowly shifting daily, 
into a field which will inevitably be made up of many people who are truly awakened. This higher vibration and new reality of the fifth dimension cannot be stopped by any form of media propaganda, for the time of awakening has come. This of course is our collective destiny, leaving no excuse for the awakened to amplify the self-harming state of fear. After all, the chosen ones are the co-creators of this new reality of the 5D. The Matrix is, however, still fully deceiving the majority of the masses. Leading many souls to death, as unbelievable events like earthquake, solar storm and many more keep on increasing. They want everyone in deep sleep, and not realize what is going on beyond the media lies. We have been in deep state of amnesia for so long, and now is the time to rise from slumber. This is the time to end this unnecessary suffering, unnecessary death, and begging for solutions for things that don't even exist. We give them power, and they sell us fear and low vibration. They want to control the whole reality of the masses. But Mother Nature is saying no, this will no longer be entertained in this dimension. If you do your own research, you find out that the amount and magnitude of earthquakes going on at the moment has drastically intensified. And this because Mother Nature is rebelling against the negative entities, or any form of low vibrational energy. And people are waking up drastically as well and realizing that there is something more to life than the Matrix. If you awake, there is no going back to sleep any longer, and no one can deceive you in any form. Mother Nature is purging, and a huge rebirth is happening as well, in preparation for the new dimension of love and happiness. Yet once there is a conscious commitment to explore the truths of our existence, including the systemic, societal, and esoteric levels, all cosmic beings will begin a process of unplugging from certain aspects of the false program, and emancipating themselves from all forms of this global enslavement. If you are one of the many who are contributing to the curving point for a truly free humanity, a reality where the conscious society is in full swing, then you will most likely recognize the ways to unplug from the matrix. If not, apply them as a guide for your own emancipation from monetary enslavement, healing and growth, as well as increase your participation in this momentous age of global awakening, as well as ascension into the new dimension of supreme love and energy of the cosmos. It is time to let go of the matrix for what it is. We have all heard the analogy of the matrix. However, it can also be described as a literal representation of how reality functions. The manifested, material world, is a deceptive construct which is born from the universal consciousness that permeates all existence. There is also a spiritual war at work, one which will inevitably dissolve the current program that dominates the collective consciousness of humanity. We are all a part of it as well. This subtle, but omnipresent conflict, exists within each and every one of us. The Matrix also superficially refers to the subliminal and explicit conditioning employed by the powers that no longer should be. To exit this program, we need to show good judgment, or discernment, when analyzing the orchestrated information that bombards the mind of humanity. For this reasons, a necessary feature of exposing the Matrix is not just accepting that there are deeply embedded power structures that control much of the world's policy, wealth, and resources. But that we also need to personally contribute to this shift, in order for more people to awaken and to call out and disassemble this rising global dictatorship. It is time to rise and take back our power. Rise galactic beings, rise, for the time of great awakening is now. This is a great time to be, a time to see the illusion fade away. It is a time of great realization of our true power and innate potentials. And this requires each and every one of us to elevate ourselves first, and tune into the higher realm of consciousness. So, as you work on yourself, I send you nothing but supreme cosmic energy and higher vibration. Remember who you truly are, and that is the most important thing that matters at the moment. Peace to you all, peace to the gods and goddesses. Peace, love and life.